What's good, what's good, what's good, my sisters? We're back in with another video, and I don't know if y'all can tell by the little emblem over here. I tried to get the title in it, but I did not park forward enough, but this is the best I got. We are at In-N-Out, finally. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. In-N-Out is literally my favorite burger spot ever. Call me basic, I don't care. But it's been a really long time since I've had In-N-Out, and I'm super bummed because I had a wallet of gift cards, and In-N-Out was in that gift card thing, and I don't know where I put it, so. I got a root beer to start with and I ordered a number two plane because I do like a double patty I just don't like everything else that comes on it and I forget that in and out does the whole like uh is it to go or like are you gonna eat it in your car so I got the eat it in your car box and it looks like this it looks so cute so I just got french fries and a burger what a drink and honestly you guys today has been a really good day oh my gosh they gave me napkins i'm excited they gave me napkins and ketchup this is why in and out's the goat i never have any problems with in and out because we don't want to eat paper now dude this is hard to do with one hand you would think i would just put the burger down at this point okay here we go all right Okay, first of all, you guys, I'm wearing a dress with a long sleeve. I think my outfit looks really nice today, but the best part is that this outfit, or like the dress at least, comes with a matching mask, and it looks pretty dope. Look how nice I look. Look how nice and clean this looks. And then I'm just wearing some dirty Converse because I don't like wearing dress shoes when I don't have to. So today I had class. Well, had class. Um, it was only like a 30 minute shindig because I have a quiz do friday so he was just like going over the questions and stuff um so i had that at like two i just stayed up watching criminal minds and i'm on season eight you guys and i'm so excited because honestly i i like grew up watching criminal minds but i just remember watching it until like i guess the season right before reed got framed or whatever he does in like season 12 i think but i like watching like TV shows I grew up watching in my childhood from like first episode to last episode because I just think it's like you could watch their character development as the show progresses like even more and it's just crazy to think like oh I remember watching this when I was little stuff like that so I was watching that then I decided to be productive somewhat so I went to the dollar store to get some containers because I'm trying to clean my room or like rearrange it and stuff and I noticed that I have like a lot of like little things here and there so i figured oh why not just get some containers so i went to one dollar tree and i found it i was so excited i found containers that work and they're red the only thing i don't like about it is that there wasn't like there wasn't any red smaller containers so i ended up getting red big containers and then like blue small containers so they don't really match but i'm okay with it and then i ended up going to ross because it was right next door and i was like why not and then i saw a set of 10 containers don't know how much it was but it all matched and then i looked the only reason why i didn't get it though is because they had like cups and i was like i don't need cups i don't i don't i don't think i need that so hopefully it works if not hopefully i'll just be able to return it with the receipt but i feel like filming at in and out is gonna be not the best because it's so busy like the drive through line was long oh my gosh it literally the front door is like right there and when i got here i was standing right here where the burger is at the front door so i was driving here right my dad gets off of work at like 4 30 and he's usually home by five and as i'm driving i hear like a siren like a fire truck siren and i was like looking around to see where it was so i like pull over obviously because that's the law and turns out they were like in the intersection behind me or something but so i'm driving and then I turned to my right, so now I'm like on, on the adjacent street. And there's like this big car accident, except I don't see any cars. All I see are the fire truck that just turned their siren on a block away, like a block ago, a bunch of police officers, and then an ambulance. So my automatic thing is, hey, I gotta call my family, make sure they're okay. So I called my mom, she's at home, I knew that, but I wanted to see if my dad was home. I called him, he was out, but it wasn't him. So like I went through my whole family list, right? But my best friend told me like two days ago that he just moved over to my side of town. 
and I'm so excited because like now I have a friend over here. I've lived here for like a year and I don't have any friends on this side of town. <laughs> it's so sad. So I had to call him too and all of them are okay and I'm so happy that they're okay but it's like I'm just glad that like now I have someone over here with me because I'm struggling to make a social life over here. I've been here for over a year. Well, a little bit over a year. And it's hard making friends, especially when people think you're already weird. So the one thing I will notice is how in and out crisp the edges of their bun. I don't really like that. Cause the burger is already crispy. And just the texture is weird. But yeah, today I was so productive and I'm so excited that I was productive. And the only thing I have left to do for like school so I could be even more productive is um, do my English assignments. Because I have two assignments for English due Wednesday. Do you guys like In-N-Out fries? They're real potatoes or whatever, like you could cut, like that you could see them cutting the potatoes and stuff. But I feel like if you took an In-N-Out burger and put McDonald's fries with it, if you made a restaurant that was like that, I would go there every single day. Or even a Five Guys burger. Because I feel like Five Guys and In-N-Out are really good burgers. Ooh. What about an In-N-Out burger with Five Guys fries? Oh, oh my god, that would be so good. Because those fries are amazing. Especially when you get like the little cup or whatever. And they fill it up and then they overfill it so much that it's like half in your bag or whatever. Like, there's like half the bag filled with fries and then your cup of fries. Five guys know what they're doing. Maybe I should do a mukbang on that. I don't think I've done that. I'm just saying, a burger joint with the perfect burger and the perfect fries would never go out of style. Because I know a lot of people who like like certain fast food places or whatever only like them for like a certain thing. And it could be their signature, it could not be their signature, but still. So I'm just saying, if you had two signature stars, that's like having two A-lister co-stars both be the star. Like, that right there is a good movie. You know what I'm saying? So back to this like whole like perfect restaurant, fast food joint. What would be their dessert? Who has like a really good dessert? Wendy's Frosties. Done. Sold. So an in and out burger, a Wendy's Frosty, and Five Guys Fries. That right there is the perfect restaurant joint right there. That would be the perfect build your own build like restaurant type of thing. I'm trying to think of like who has really good desserts but no I think I'm sold on that. While I was at Dollar Tree I like parked in the middle of Dollar Tree in Ross so I was in like that middle lane you know and I like parked relatively close to the front and I looked to the left of my car <laughs> and there's a lady <laughs> there's a lady parked in like four spots all at once like she parked in the middle you know how like like the paint on the thing for the spots is here she parked like right in the middle so she's in the middle of all four spots i was like can you not park can you not see the lines like what's going on because it's not even like it's not even like she had like a good car to like protect or whatever but like i didn't know what, what the deal was or like if she intended to park like that why didn't she park like that away from the door to be polite you know so i don't know there was a lot going through my mind. There was probably a lot going through her mind. Oh my god. A truck just parked right in front of me. And it's weird. I don't know if y'all understand how weird it is when people look, make direct eye contact with you or just park in the parking spot in front of you when you're filming. Because then you look like a weirdo. So, I don't think I'm going to look up now. I'm just going to enjoy my, my burger. Doo -doo -doo. What? Bro, there's a Dollar Tree here. I'm so I went to like this Dollar Tree that was like super far away from my house and in and out is like down the street from my house and there's Dollar Tree right here and I don't really go over here to this side of town or like to, to like over here to this like parking lot or whatever so I don't know what's in here but I did not know that that's interesting it's okay because I still scored at the Dollar Tree dude the driver stayed in his car and this man is hardcore staring at me because I'm sitting here talking to what looks like a container Cause I'm in my mom's car, so I need something to hold my phone up while I film. And I'm using the containers I bought from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder if they would have good containers. It's okay though, cause I really lucked out. Cause literally I've been looking for containers 
for like a month now because i've been trying to like clean my room and deep clean it and like make sure everything's good and to my liking but i need containers for stuff and i could never find it and i've checked store after store after store and like not only that but i would check the same stores multiple times dude i think this guy's on the phone because he's like he's like holding something up in the corner like this and he keeps glancing over at it i don't know I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, I was thinking. Let's see. March. So, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. My birthday is seven months away. And I turned 19. That's crazy. First of all, I'm old. Secondly, what should I do for my birthday? But no, I was with my friend and his brother and his dad and stuff. And they were like, oh, what are you going to do for your birthday? And honestly, dude, I don't know. I told him I was gonna go take a nap because this semester of college has literally stressed me out, made me tired, and I feel like has made me more angry. Oh my gosh, so the car, the truck that parked in front of me left, and he has a dog in, in like the bed of his thing in a cage or whatever, but like it's so cute. I think that was like a uh, German Shepherd, maybe. I don't know. I'm really bad with dog pets. But still, they had a really cute dog in the back. So now that that car left, hello. I'm sorry I had to not look at you. It was just really weird when, like, dude, like, staring at me every time I looked at the thing. Honestly, I thought about going to the mall today. But I have a really bad shopping problem. And I know that, and I was like, no, I need to clean my room before I buy anything else. So I was really disciplined today, which I'm glad. So now we're here at In-N-Out to reward my disciplinary shopping tendencies. Not only that, but like the mall is in the opposite direction of everywhere else I had to go. And like, was I willing to go out of my way to go to the mall? Yes, but was it necessary? no unfortunately it was not unnecessary i mean fortunately it was unfortunately it was not necessary there we go that's the one so i didn't go but maybe tomorrow tomorrow's tuesday so maybe y'all ever like drink a carbonated drink like too fast or something and then like the bubbles build up in your throat because honestly it hurts so much when i drink root beer <sighs> okay well i think i'm gonna go and i'm gonna finish the rest I ate like half of it. I'm gonna finish the rest of it. I'm not really a fan of their fries. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment. You do you. I do me. Toodles.